after you download Brackets and install it, I'd like you to open it. The first time you open it, you should be in the Getting Started folder. Working with folders and brackets is a little bit funky. We're going to create a folder on your computer that's going to hold all of your web files. And we'll have nine or ten of them for this class. Every web project that we do will get its own folder. We're going to start by creating your top level folder. So where it says getting started, we're going to ignore all of this. We're going to create a new folder or a new file. And then we're going to save it. And we're going to choose Save As. And you're going to make sure that you are somewhere that you can find your work. I'm just going to save mine to my desktop for right now. This is my home computer. And I'm going to choose New Folder. And I'm going to call it CDM 110. And I'm going to hit Enter. Then inside CDM 110, my very first file is going to be called index.html. You want to make sure that you're inside the CDM 101 folder. Index is a special file name. It's the file that opens by default whenever you move to a directory. So you're going to save index.html, and we're going to link to all of our other folders. For your index file, you're going to write some very simple code, and I'll explain it as I go. And after this first project, you're going to go out to the W3 School site and learn more about HTML, but I just want to give you a really brief introduction to how pages are set up. First, the first thing that you need to do, because browsers interpret HTML, the first line is to tell the browser what version of HTML we're using. And we do that with something called a doc type statement. And traditionally, the doc type statement is going to have an exclamation point, and doc type will be in capitals, and HTML will be lowercase. That's just telling your browser we're using the current document type, which right now is a version of HTML5. Then we are going to declare that this is an HTML page. And we should say language equals en, which is English. That helps our web browsers know what language the page is written in. And then you can hit enter a couple of times. You'll notice that for every opening tag, we usually have a closing tag. About 95% of HTML tags have both opening and closing tags. There are a few that don't, like the doc type HTML, and you'll sort of get used to those as you go along. So for an, a web page to be properly formatted, it has two sections. You have a head section, which is information about your page, and you have a body section, which is what actually appears on your page. In the head section, you will typically include a title tag. And the title is the title for your web page. So in this case, it's going to be Mary's CDM 110 work. Now, if I save this, which is Control S on a PC, Control or Command S on a Mac, I can test it by clicking the small sort of lightning bolt shaped preview icon. And you'll notice, since I haven't put anything in the body, nothing appears here. But my title appears in the tab here. I'm going to minimize but not close this. All right, so now I'm going to put information into the body. And here I'm going to use an H1, which is a top heading tag. So I'm going to type in H1, Mary's Web Work. And again, Control S will save. And if I reopen up Chrome, which is what my preview is done in, it will appear here automatically. If I were to right click here, I could view my page source and you can see that this is all being done in the web browser. So that's just the very first page you're going to create. As we go forward, we're going to create additional pages inside folders inside of our CDM 110 folder. But your next step will be to actually upload this page.